So how do you get rid of pink eye? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you three must-know facts about pink eye and conjunctivitis. Plus, stay tuned toward the end for some extra bonus tips on ways you can prevent this nasty, contagious disease from spreading. Let's take a look. Hey everyone and welcome, I am Dr. Joseph Allen here on Dr. Eye Health. The channel helps you learn about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. So if you're new here to the channel, consider subscribing. Also remember at any point throughout the video, I always include additional information and links in the description below in case I forget to mention anything. So pink eyes actually a very common condition that most people will have at least one point in their lifetime, usually as a child, but even as an adult. In fact, pink eye is so contagious, it often spreads through classrooms and workplaces, kind of like a brush fire. Now the first thing you need to know is that pink Pink eye actually doesn't exist. In the medical world, we call it a conjunctivitis, and that describes inflammation of the conjunctiva, which is the clear membranous tissue that covers the white part of the eye and the inside of your eyelids. During a conjunctivitis, the blood vessels will dilate and become bigger, making the eye appear red. And then these blood vessels actually leak fluid, which causes the tissues to swell. Conjunctivitis can actually be caused by many different reasons, including bacterial infections, viral infections, allergic reactions, and many others. Some of the most severe cases of conjunctivitis include causes from gonorrhea, chlamydia, or the herpes simplex virus. Now the second thing you need to know about pink eye are the symptoms, because oftentimes just by symptoms alone, we can actually categorize and figure out what type of pink eye you might actually have. Now a bacterial conjunctivitis has some really classic telltale signs. Of course the eyes can be red, pink, you're gonna have irritation and kind of that swelling of the eye, but you often will have pus, that kind of green mucus coming from the eye. In fact, you'll actually get that very classic pink eye crust that ends up kind of drying out on the eyelid. You know, the kind that you wake up and your eyelid is crusted shut and you kind of have to like clean the eyelid just to even open it. Yeah. That's probably bacteria. Now compare that to the symptoms of a viral conjunctivitis, which if you didn't know, viral conjunctivitis is by far the most common cause of all cases of pink eye. And it's actually caused by the same virus that causes the common cold. If you just learned something, smash that like button. But viral conjunctivitis often presents, again, with that red pink eye that feels a little swollen, like something might be stuck in there, but often instead of kind of that mucus discharge, you actually get just watery, tearing eyes throughout the whole day. And that's really frustrating because those tears that are coming on all day, you try to wipe those away, and that's actually one of the most contagious forms of pink eye that are out there. Hence why it tends to spread through school and work so fast. However, allergic conjunctivitis is often not just one eye, it's actually usually both eyes, and it's associated with more of that itching, burning sensation of the eyes. And oftentimes presents with more things like, you know, sneezing and coughing and a running nose. Now, vision is usually not severely affected in cases of pink eye unless it converts to something called a keratitis. And that actually includes inflammation and possible infection of the cornea, which is the clear window surface to the eye. Most cases of keratitis usually present during infections from people who abuse contact lenses or from people who have a nasty type of virus infection called EKC, which stands for epidemic keratoconjunctivitis, which is a very nasty virulent form of just a viral infection. But thankfully now we actually have a tool in the clinic that actually lets us test for those specific virulent strains of viruses that can cause pink eye. I know it kind of looks like a pregnancy test, but really we just take a sample of the tears, run it for about 10 minutes, and boom, there we know if you have that nasty type of virus. Tip number three, how do you get rid of pink eye? Well, the reality is that if you have a pink eye or maybe one of your family members does, it's actually best to take them in to see the eye doctor because your eye doctor has both the tools and the training to appropriately make the right diagnosis and prescribe the appropriate treatment. In cases of bacterial conjunctivitis, we often do prescribe an antibiotic because, well, it's a bacterial infection and antibiotics work great. In cases of viral conjunctivitis, there's really not much we can do. Prescribing antibiotics doesn't really help because viruses don't respond to antibiotics. So really we just treat the symptoms, which means using cold compresses, artificial tears, they make you more comfortable. Some doctors do prescribe steroid eye drops in these cases. However, that's debated in medicine because steroids, although they help relieve the symptoms of the eye, they actually can prolong the infectious period period 
of that virus. So yeah, sometimes it's not the best idea. Thankfully, there are some offices that offer an office-based treatment like a betadine wash to help relieve the symptoms and maybe shorten the infectious period. That's something that not every clinic does, but uh, yeah, you can always look into that. In cases of allergic conjunctivitis, we often prescribe antihistamine eye drops, along with maybe some oral antihistamine medication or maybe some other type of things like cold compresses as well. I have done a whole other video on allergic conjunctivitis and eye drops for allergies. If you'd like to check that out, I hooked it up here in the YouTube card above, as well as in the description below. Again, some types of pink eye are really nasty, like gonorrhea, chlamydia, and the herpes simplex virus actually can cause permanent scarring on the eye, and that can lead to permanent vision loss. So please, if you're having some type of pink eye, it's best not to chance it. Make sure you see your eye doctor, get the appropriate diagnosis, and the best treatment for you, even if it's just to be safe. You only get two eyes, so please take care of them. Now, a few extra bonus tips for you because you stayed toward the end. Pink eye is extremely contagious, so please make sure you wash your hands frequently, along with maybe wiping things down that are commonly used around the house with either bleach or some sort of antibacterial wipes. That means including like doorknobs, children's toys, any sort of cupboard handles. I actually make sure I wash the keyboard, my cell phone. How often have you cleaned your cell phone? I even clean my pens after I see a patient with pink eye in the clinic. Also, don't share towels at home. Make sure you wash your pillowcases because the seepage from your eye could end up getting on the pillowcase and that can just spread you know, to the other eye. And if you're a makeup wearer, make sure that you throw your makeup away because that could be actually contaminating into your makeup and then you again just give it to yourself again. And if you're a contact lens wearer, don't wear your contacts if you have any sort of suspected infection or red eye. And then once everything is resolved, when you go back to contacts, make sure you put in a fresh pair. Contacts are known to harbor some of the nastiest bacteria and viruses that cause eye infections. So eye health question of the day, when was the last time you had a pink eye? Was it bacterial or viral? Go ahead and comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and if you'd like to see another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, feel free to click or tap the screen up here to the side, or if you'd like to see another cool video, go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Again, this is Dr. Joe Allen here from Dr. Eye Health. The channel helps you with the eyes, vision, finding the best vision products. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.